In this Malaysia vlog, we continue our journey on Malaysia's jungle railway to the town of Guamasang. We go in search for the best food in Guamasang, and spoiler alert, you have to try the local freshwater fish when you're here. This Malaysia travel vlog also includes some of the best local attractions that we found during our stay. We've arrived in Guamasang. Guamasang is one of the main train stops on the jungle train line through the northern part of Malaysia. There's plenty of accommodation options here, plenty of food options as well. We've decided just to stay here for a day or two just to rest up. It's a really good launching pad if you want to go into the Malaysian jungle. Tamanagera is another popular area to travel to from here. And there is a bus station here that we're going to shortly. And we're hoping that we go to different parts of the country from that bus station. Not quite sure, we'll find out shortly. Now, what we love about Guamasang are these awesome cast mountains behind me. They look really striking and they give a unique feel to the town. For dinner tonight, we've decided to go to Anjung Seafood Solera. So it's a specialty seafood restaurant and uh, we've got the Maggie Ketam, which has crab in it, it's got squid, it's got chicken even, and even egg and prawns. It's got the works and it comes as a noodle dish and it's a soup as well. So I think it's like a Tom Yum soup. Wow. So this is a really awesome dish and it was 25 ringgit. So I think pretty good value for crab. Got some chicken here. Mm, that's nice. I'm going to try some of this broth. Mm. I would say it's like a Tom Yum soup, sort of. So, mm, there's a lot of flavour in there. It's a bit sweet. It's a little bit sour. I can see there's coriander in there as well. And, oh, I, I don't know. Oh, there's, we've even got egg in here too. So, it's a really, really big dish. And, oh, okay, I'm going to try some crab. I managed to open up the crab. Mmm. Oh, I've got some, <laughs> I've got some squid now. Mm. If you love your seafood, make sure you check this out when you're in Guamasang. This is awesome. And there's also the shell out, a specialty dish, which is an even bigger dish full of seafood for you. A cutlery free dish of seafood. So that sounds really amazing. Solera Sri Kotam is a highly rated restaurant on the outskirts of Guamasang. So we thought we'd come and try it out. So their signature dish is the gulai ikan tilapia, which is this. So it's a fish dish and it comes with a coconut milk gravy. Uh, I think that's turmeric there. And we've got a serving of rice with it. So this is only eight ringgit. So it's very, very good value. Let's open this up. So we've got the back end of the tilapia. Oh. Mm. Oh, gonna have more of this sauce. Oh, that's very nice. So there's only very mild heat to it. You can definitely taste the coconut, you can definitely taste the turmeric in there. Mm. And there's a little bit of sweetness as well. Yeah, it's a really delicious, flavorful curry. So this restaurant is a little bit of a walk. It's probably a 20 minute walk outside the main part of Guamasan, but I think it's well worth it. And the scenery is really nice. So you've got the pond behind you and the Cast Mountains as well. It makes for a very scenic lunch. What I'm really loving about Guamasan is that it's set amongst all these really beautiful cast mountains. So if you just look around, you can see all these mountains just amongst the jungle. It looks pretty awesome. So we've just come from lunch. Just the, the place that we were just at was really nice. It was just a little bit out of town, but it's good. It gets you out of town and gets you walking around and enjoying the ambience. It is a little bit hot. As you can see, I've got my makeshift uh, sun protection and this over here is the hospital so now we're heading off to our next lunch venue that's also highly rated so looking forward to that 
<sighs> so now we're arriving at our second lunch destination, Taman Tasik. Ta so this is a nice restaurant overlooking the water, so I'm sure it's going to be really pretty. You can see the, the river or the lake just over here. It's really scenic. Look at this. Beautiful. Wow. It's like a little garden oasis. Really pretty. so impressed by this space it's just a beautiful garden oasis in the middle of the city so outside it's all traffic and hustle and bustle but in here it's just tranquil and serene you've got beautiful mountains in the background everything is just so peaceful the menu is quite extensive here and it's a mixture of western thai and malaysian dishes we chose the seafood caribou and it's got prawns and it's got um, squid in there and then it's got lots of vegetables so tomato and cucumber I can see in here and then it looks like there's a lot of chili in there as well um, and we've also got some mango and a side of rice. This looks really nice, really light and fresh. So I'd say this is like a Thai seafood salad. So it's got a lot of lemongrass, it's got a lot of lime, and it has a lot of chili. So um, we've had quite a lot of spicy food in Malaysia, but I think this is right at the top of my tolerance limit. Very spicy, very flavorful as well. And yeah, perfect setting to enjoy our meal. A distinctive landmark in Guamasang is the beautiful Mukim Razale Mosque. This mosque was recently rebuilt and opened in 2022. This mosque is a replica of the one at Mecca, done to the scale of 1 to 7. Obviously to go to a mosque you need to dress appropriately. So for men that includes trousers or long pants and for women that includes a headscarf and clothes that cover their arms and legs. So this morning we're just on our way to the bus stop uh, or the bus station. We don't know where the buses go, uh, that's why we're doing a bit of recon. So where we want to go is the Cameroon Highlands potentially, or maybe Ipo, then Cameroon Highlands, not sure. So, we're, yeah, we're... so it seems like there's a road that goes from here all the way to the Cameroon Highlands. Um, and we've never been before, so it is one of the places in Malaysia that we're keen to get to this trip. Yeah, and we're only about 90 kilometers away, so hopefully there is a bus, but we'll only find out when we get to that bus station. Now it looks like we're coming to a market. Let's, let's check this out. There's a lot of clothes here, and it looks like we have a fruit and vegetable market as well. And on the side, you've got some food that you can take away. Karapok is a very popular and local dish to the state of Kalantan. So, just having a look through markets. Oh, fresh fruit and veggie. Yum. Okay, I can see a bus off in the distance, so that's good. Mm. Hello. 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 Oh jeez. I found a little friend. Oh. Look what Jay got at the market. Oh, so cute. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to the bus station now. There is a bus over there, and there's a bus right there, but I don't know. This isn't looking hopeful. And the bus terminal counter is looking a bit closed. So. This isn't a good sign. 
Okay, I think we're going to have to do a bit of reconnaissance uh, in some of these shops to see what the go is. So we've arrived at what we thought was the bus station for Guamasan. Now, it used to be the bus station, but now it's moved a further 40 minute walk that way. We've decided we're just going to take the, the train to Kuala Lipis instead. It's a bit of a shame because we're actually closer to some of the destinations we want to get to here in Guamasan. So we want to get to Ipo, we want to get to Cameroon Highlands, but we, we're going to have to go the slightly longer way. Not to worry. So what we have found at the old bus station is a taxi rank. Now it has numbers of the taxi drivers listed, it also has some prices of various destinations. So for example, to go to Ipo from here is 350 ringgit. These very entrepreneurial people are selling coconut shakes straight out the boot of their car, just in time for the school break. We visited some amazing cafes in Guamasang, including Coffee on the Wall and Kaya Dessert. Coffee on the Wall had a fun range of drinks to choose from, as well as hot fast food. We tried the Starry Star Lemon Soda and loved the look of it with the purple ice. This effect was made using the butterfly pea flower, which is also what makes the rice in Nazi caribou blue. We've stumbled upon this really cool looking dessert cafe in Guamasan. So it's called Kaya. We've got the brownies ice cream. This looks really, really decadent. And we've also got an iced coffee, but this is a rose latte. So it's got rose syrup in it. We are both big fans of the syrup bandung, so, which is like a rose milk. Uh, we haven't tried it in a coffee, so that's gonna be a bit different, a bit unique. Now, first of all, I'm gonna go with the brownies. So, so we've got ice cream in here, there's brownie chunks, and it looks like there's salt or caramel as well. At the bottom, I think they're like little breakfast cereal choco bits. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. So that, that'll make it quite interesting as well. So, yummy. Oh, mm. So that's not caramel, that's actually like a coffee sauce. That's really nice. And the coffee sauce tastes really strong too. I wonder whether that sauce is as caffeinated as it, as it tastes. Wow. I'm not going to be sleeping tonight at this rate. So let's try the coffee. I should probably mix it, hey. Here goes. Mm. You can taste predominantly the coffee and the rose syrup gives a little bit of sweetness. The coffee taste does dominate. This coffee is good. There's no milk in this, this iced coffee. It's just, uh, I think it's just water in the rose syrup. So yeah, it's really good. Certainly worth a try. So the brownies ice cream was 10 ring at 90 and the rose dice latte was 8 ring. So if you're after a decadent treat in Guamasang, make sure you come to Kaya. We also found plenty of Thai restaurants when in Guamasang. This is pretty common in the state of Kelantan, given it borders Thailand. The Ma Tom Yum restaurant was a great value restaurant that we visited and highly recommend. We tried the Kalek Boa, which is a fruit salad and a sweet and spicy sauce, a very delicious mango shake, and a whole sweet and sour tilapia, which was fantastic. Solero Molek is another great Thai restaurant in Guamasang. We enjoyed a delicious meal there and recommend this restaurant as well. We stayed at the Phoenix Hotel Guamasang. We did find that the pictures online looked better than our actual room, but nevertheless, it was comfortable accommodation at a reasonable price of 95 ringgit per night. It was conveniently located amongst shops and restaurants and a 15 minute walk from the train station. Thanks for joining us on our Guamasang Malaysia travel vlog. If you liked it, click that like button and let us know what you thought by leaving a comment. If you want more Malaysian content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button to follow us on our bucket list adventures around Malaysia.